All right, here we go. This one's gonna be a 10 millimeter test. Today we have the Hornady Custom. That is 180 grain XTP. Here's what this one looks like. Really good looking round. Does have just your normal brass case on it. And box rated velocity is 1275. So today we're gonna to be trying out of our five inch Rock Island Ultra FS. We'll see what kind of numbers we get on that. And it looks like we have just enough room here in this block to sneak another one in there. So that is a 10% block. Do have our jug backstop just in case we get those pass-throughs and our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So like always, we'll set our chronograph up so we can hopefully get those impact velocities. We'll see how this one does. Here we go. All right, we're stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did. So our impact velocity on that one was 1293, so not too bad. Pretty much a full power 10 mil right there. So it's good to see we did uh, exceed our rated velocity. So very good. All right, let's see how we did on this one. So it looks like we got a perfect shot on that one. Looks like we snuck it right in between those other two. So really good. See right down in that hole. Nice big star pattern on that one. You can actually see some fragments down in there already. So let's check it out from the side. Man, look at that. That is awesome. That is some major damage coming in there. So it looks like this one came in probably about a quarter inch. And we're just dumping all kinds of energy. It looks like this one carried all the way through. Doesn't look like it really settled down at all. You can see quite a few fragments down in there too. Man, that's an awesome, awesome stretch cavity on that one. That's some major damage. So let's see if we can get, get some uh, measurements from our widest point. This is kind of going to be tough because it did kind of collide with our other ones. So let's see. So it looks like we are at about three and a half inches from top to bottom. So that's really good. You can see quite a few fragments that it did shed in there. There's a little bit here at the end and we were able to catch this one. It did penetrate through the first one and we caught it here in this second jug. So really good to see. Got some major damage coming in there though. Hopefully you guys can see this on the camera. I'm not able to see it through my side. So hopefully it's picking up on your side. But major, major damage. So what I'll do is I'll lay this block flat so we can uh, hopefully get a little bit of better picture of that. And then we'll check that round out. All right, check this thing out. Looks like we can see it a little bit better from this angle. But got some major damage coming in there. It is that track on the in the center. But we got some pretty good damage. So let's see if I can measure it from the top a little bit better. So all the way over, yeah, it's about a three and a half uh, inch stretch cavity. So really, really good. But you can see, came in about a quarter inch. It just really started opening up, shedding a few petals through there. Really wide stretch cavity throughout that whole thing. And like I said, it looks like it carried all the way through. It didn't really uh, settle down too much. But that is some major damage coming in there. So that is very cool to see. So let's check that round out. All right, check that out. Looks like we got some awesome expansion on this one. Huge mushrooming throughout that whole thing. So that is very good to see. Perfect uniform expansion though. Peeled it back really, really nicely all the way through. Those petals here on the bottom are pretty sharp. And it looks like it had enough velocity to actually peel those petals over that base and fold them right over. So was well, coming in pretty warm. So it's good to see that we did uh, exceed that rated velocity just a little bit. Almost 1300 feet per second. So definitely a really good one, but some major expansion on that round. 
There it is from the bottom. Did really, really good. So that would be another good one for uh, some kind of hunting. I always say javelina because I'd like to go javelina hunting one day with a handgun. But I think that would be a good choice. Got a lot of penetration for that one. But there we go. That was 10 millimeter, 180 grain XTP. All right, here's a cross section for that one. It was kind of hard to uh, pick a side to cut just because there was so much damage throughout, you know, a lot of that stretch cavity. So hopefully we're able to get a decent look at what's going on. But we got a ton of damage going on. Huge star pattern, a lot of tearing. Same thing on this side. And I did remeasure it, and it's right at three and a quarter from a... Uh, from side to side so pretty big stretch on that one so very good to see so let's cut it open and this is actually a fragment underneath you can't really get to it but we'll cut everything out at the end all right and here's after being cut this is the right side this one is the left side so we got some major damage coming in so this one looks like it was a little bit delayed opening up so we're at about half an inch and it opens up and we're already shedding petals so there's a Piece of lead down in there. Super deep cuts. We got a lot of cotton t-shirt that got drug in. Some more uh, fragments down, way down in there. And this one carried for quite a long ways too. So we got a ton of damage. Here's that top section. You can really tell right there. It came in about half inch in and started opening up really nicely. Really deep cuts down in there too though. Same thing, dumping a little bit of that cotton, a little bit of those uh, petals. Look how deep those cuts are. I don't know if the camera's doing it much justice, but those are super, super deep cuts. Massive damage coming in there. So that is very impressive for an XTP. Those ones usually don't get too much expansion, but Man, when they're moving fast enough, they're really doing some damage. So there we go. That was 180 grain, 10 millimeter XTP. Actually wanted to show one more angle real quick, just so you guys can see what's going on. How deep these cuts really are. And just how much damage is really going on in this stuff. But very, very deep cuts. There we go.